Maybe, I feel like Like the Weather could be put towards the end, but... So what are you doing? You're making a set list for your show? Yes. For my show on Friday, doesn't this video come out before that? Yes, actually it does. So, if you're in the Claremont area on Friday night, October 28th, in Claremont, the area of Claremont, we will be playing a show there, me and my dad, and uh, it should be around 7, 7.30ish. At so Remix. At Remix. So be there. Uh, but also, feel free to, if you're going to do one, just come to my show. But if you're going to do no, both. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, but if you're willing to do both, go ahead and like this video, comment, and subscribe. All right. I guess that's good enough. Thanks, Evelyn. What's going on over here? I see Shirley. I see Shirley, but oh, Shirley saw the other one <laughs> up here, and she wanted to join the fun. I guess. <laughs> what a silly girl! It's heavy. So I'm heading down the field because Micaiah is working on the bees, getting them ready for winter. So we thought we'd show you a little bit of that. There he is, way down there. That's him. I think he's cutting some tar paper to put on the hives, but let's go down and see. I can't get too close because I am not geared up to um, be around the bees like Micaiah is. Also, I forgot to mention, I should have videotaped some of this, but we've had company all weekend, a lot going on, so I didn't really do a lot of videoing this weekend, but this whole yard has been bush hogged. So we now have one big field. See, that's where the garden is. And the house but Richard's been down here bush hogging and currently he's um, back there right now you can hear the tractor he's trying to pull down all those scrub trees so that we can reopen this area up and that's where we want to plant our orchard but anyway here is Micaiah have you been stung no good no this little setup that I have right here seems to work really well so what are you doing right now you're getting the bees ready for winter so what exactly are you doing um, Thanks. Uh, my nose is running like crazy. I might have a tissue for you. Well, oh. I'm putting, uh, I made these two inch shims right here. They're basically just small boxes. So I'm putting the paper on top of the frames and then I'm putting this box on and then I'm gonna put sugar in there and there'll be holes for the bees. If it's, it's kind of an emergency policy for the bees if they get um, so they won't starve basically but also the sugar will absorb moisture and the and hive during the winter and that's really what kills the bees more than the cold apparently is the moisture so they don't freeze right so the hives that we have are strong we lost one last week did you tell everybody no i don't think so like well, you can tell we them. lost one last week uh, the small one that you had cut um split we off split off it was weak and um I think we probably lost the queen a couple of weeks ago and I didn't detect it when we were going through that stuff with your health issue. I just kind of did the bare necessity on stuff like this. So trying to get back on track now and um, get the bees ready for winter. Okay. So he's smoking the hive. Yeah, we'll we'll give him a little bit of smoke. There's bees on the top there. Let me come over I might even check to see if the queen is alive. Well, they look pretty busy. Yeah. Looks pretty good in there. So you're gonna take a frame out to see if you can find the uh, queen? Yeah. They propolize everything so it's all stuck together. And I'm trying to be careful not to damage any bees, especially the queen. It's kind of risky to do this. This frame is pretty much empty. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's 
That's right, you guys marked the queens the last time you were really yeah. in the hive. Now, how is she marked? She's got a yellow dot on her back. She's not on the cover? What's that? She's not on the cover? They don't seem to be coming at you. No, they're not. I think the smoke really does help. I wonder what um, Isaac thinks about Uncle Micah getting into all these bees. Oh, you wonder what Isaac thinks about Uncle Micah getting into all the bees? Yeah, if he thinks I'm crazy. He had a little, he had a hornet get into his pants there. Oh, no. A bunch of times. Yeah, but hornets are not honeybees. So this is the last frame and you still haven't found the queen? No, I must have... Uh... Not able to find the queen in this one. She was marked the last time they found her. And now it seems like she's missing. So did they raise up another queen is the question. But Micaiah can't find a queen at all. Without a queen, this hive is doomed. It will die. So we need to figure out before we close up the box and, and winter them that the key queen is there, a queen. And if there isn't a queen, we need to make sure they have a queen. There's Richard. All right, so what's gonna happen? You didn't find the queen. You got bees all over you, by the way. You got bees on your hat and stuff. Do you want me to flick them off? Because they're just, they're just hanging out on you. Let me flick them off. There goes one, there goes another. Oh, they're kind of coming off, just throwing them on me. I think they're gone. Oh wait, there's one on your hat still. Want me get it? Yeah. Oh wait, wait, I flicked him and he fell back down into your hat. I was not able to find a queen. It looked like there was some queen cells. Um, so they're maybe they're trying to raise up a queen, but I gotta maybe get Tyler over here to look at that one with me to see if I need to get another queen in there or if they're okay. The other two look really strong, and I found the queen, so just buttoning them up. It will keep the wind um, from entering the hive. Just another um, way of trying to help the bees make it through the winter. Also with the black tar paper, it probably will absorb the uh, warmth of the sun. So hopefully this will keep them safe and snug for the winter. As you know, the foundation work is still going on. So there's something happening, but I'm not sure what. But I guess I can check in and find out. Hey. Hey. So what's going on, babe? We're just talking about the uh, drainage, the plan for the, the rest of the drainage pipe that I have. 
So there's a drain there that goes. Yeah, that goes on the inside, and then we have one coming on the outside, and then I have another one going against the stone wall that Andrew built. It's to keep all the water moving out of yeah. the um. Out and away from the house. Right. This area inside used to be really soggy. Right, I remember I think that because everything was just leaching out this way, and there was really nowhere for it to go. Mm -hmm. So we created a way for that to escape. And we'll probably put another one here, so we'll be covered. When I when I pour concrete on the floor next year, Lord willing, um, it'll be nice and dry in there. Right, that's the plan. So you're just trying to figure out how to. You have the pieces now. You're just trying to figure out where to put them. Yeah, and procrastinating digging. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful oh, day. As long as I can. Right. Like I said, we did have a lot going on this weekend with company and different things, but while uh, my mother-in-law was here, um, we harvested the potatoes. She helped Micaiah dig them out of the ground, and we got quite a few, a couple bags. She took some home, but uh, they look really good. I got to wash them today, but really good size. I'm excited to try them. Micah's birthday's coming up, and he said that he wanted me to make him chicken pie with homemade crust and mashed potatoes from our garden. So that's what I'll be doing. Okay, this is just a quick update. You haven't seen this kind of together in a video in a little while. So this is just a quick, quick update. First things first, I want to remind you guys that um, Glenda has a little contest going about the colors of an Afghan that she's giving away. And so put in the comments, if you are a subscriber, if not subscribe, but put in the comments the colors or decor of a room, a room that you'd want a beautiful Afghan that Glenda made in, and you just might win it. So we'll announce the winner next week. On the next week's video, Glenda will show the Afghan and announce the winner. So there's that. Also, um, we had some video about the bees and we didn't know what we were gonna do because we couldn't find a queen. So we talked to, or I say we, Micah talked to Tyler and he said. Yeah, I talked to Tyler. He said that um, basically there's not much we can do right now. We can't introduce a new queen this time of year. So I think the plan moving forward with that little, that little hive is split from a bigger hive so he said that um if basically if they don't survive then we can split um split off another colony next year and try to use that equipment to establish a new hive and um so i think this year moving forward i'm going to take one of the frames out of the honey super and the other one put it in that um box so that they have some food and then i'll put some sugar in there also for like emergency and also for um, absorbing water and just kind of hope for the best i did notice a couple of queen cells in there so maybe they'll raise up a new queen i don't know so that's that right and then as far as like the foundation pretty much we've been kind of recording it i mean there's not a lot going on right now you're waiting for it to cure and then you're going to well i've got I can put the house back down on it right any time, but basically uh, Richard and I talked about um, how we're going to proceed and we're going to finish the drain pipes, which there's some manual digging um, going on in the basement by me. And um, so I'm going to finish putting the drain pipe in then I have to put some crushed stone in. And then once that's all done, um, I'm going to put pressure treated plates on the concrete, bolt those down, and then start putting some vertical supports in. Um, I think they're going to be temporary so we can get the cribbing out of there. And, uh, and then we'll work on jacking the house up and replacing those beams with nice, uh, maybe some pressure treated 8 by 8s or something. Okay, and then maybe just a quick update on me. I'm still recovering. I'm still healing. I had kind of a setback a couple weeks ago in the pumpkin patch doing too much. So I had kind of, I didn't like injure myself to like go to the doctors or anything, but I injured myself where it caused me <laughs> some pain, <laughs> which oh. put me back, I'd say a couple weeks in healing because it's frustrating. Um, Got to be careful of those pumpkins. Well, it's not the pumpkin. It was the bending over constantly know, and pushing the cart and all the things I yeah. shouldn't be doing. But anyway, live and learn. Did you show them all the potatoes we got? I did. So there's okay. that. But um, I guess that's about it, right? I think so. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, I was just going to mention about our insurance. Oh, yeah. 
which yeah, is pretty well, annoying. I did. I did. Uh, some of you are aware I did some work on the house just kind of to, to appease the homeowners insurance um, that we had. And, Remember painting and putting on the railing, and they wanted yeah. us to paint the whole house and put yeah. a, put some kind of um, close up a doorway or put a yeah. stairwell to a doorway or something. Long story short, it wasn't wasn't enough and they're they're gonna cancel so we're um having an issue getting insurance because of the condition of the house um even though i'm a registered contractor now it doesn't seem to really affect anything we're having a difficult time so and it, we end in a week it ends in a week it literally stops in a week so we need yep. to find something everything is saying no 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 so we're praying and hoping for um something to come either through. two things that have to happen either we acquire insurance or we pay off the house and go without insurance and so that's not really an option right now unless the lord drops it in our laps yep. so anyway we have a week yeah until we don't know what's going to happen but, but we're just going with it that's that so that's kind of the exciting things this week that's going on yeah so i guess it's kind of a I think that's it, right? Yeah, Until I think so. Until next week. And uh, next week's his birthday, guys. Next Tuesday will be his birthday. So right? maybe if we can do another con contest where if they guess my age, then they get a prize. Oh, well, that's <laughs> an idea. That's an idea. Maybe we can do that. We'll think about it. Maybe we'll do another contest. A bag of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're, we're going on too long here, guys. So we probably should say... Goodbye and wrap signing this up. Off. So we're signing off till next week. Bye, guys.